Hey, John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got this question a while back, because you can tell because it says, uh, happy fourth to you and your family as well, John. So <laughs> this was when I was traveling, but I queue up all my, you know, if you send me an email, by the way, I kind of queue it up and I pick from different emails when I'm going to do a video based on kind of how I'm feeling. So, uh, so anyway, uh, uh, this is from uh, Kareen and she says, uh, briefly, I will comment that while I'm not yet a $300 an hour consultant, I doubt I will ever offer discounts again. When I discounted my rate, clients seemed to discount my value or at least they didn't appear grateful for having gotten a deal. It seems the more I charge, the more seriously a client takes my recommendations and the sooner they take action. I also took the advice of another blogger and now dress more formally when on site at clients. While I never wore jeans and always looked business appropriate, at times I personally felt like I was missing that extra oomph. It's no less of a feminine look, but to my mind, wearing pants suits or skirt suits to work conveys that I am here to work and not play around like some other people. If and when you have time, I would like to hear your opinion on those two things best, Kareem. So uh, let's, let's start with the first one. I think these are really good topics actually. So as far as discounting rates, I, I totally agree. If you discount rates, you tend to, I mean, heck, when I sell a product even, right? If I discount the product, I get more refunds and more complaints from people that have picked up a discount. But someone who's purchased something at full price probably shows more appreciation and value for it. I never discount my rates anymore simply because, or very rarely, simply because of that, of exactly what you see. You get paid less money and you get more complaints and you get more scrutiny. Whereas, you know, when someone is willing to pay your high rate for a thing, they, they've they thought about things. They're probably a little bit, uh, but a little bit more of the kind of client you want to deal with. So, so I totally agree with not discounting rates. A lot of people like will discount the rates so much that you know when when you're in that bargaining mood, then then people are looking for you know the price shopping. You don't want you want someone who wants to do business with you because they want to do business with you. Flip side of this, I hardly ever ask people to discount their rates. The only time I would ever ask someone to discount their rate is if they're doing a lot of work for me. But if someone just says like my rate is this per hour. I don't usually ask them for a discount off of that because then they'll do less of a job. In fact, just to give you an example, sometimes I offer bonuses or something in addition. I did a, a, a sale with a, a buddy of mine that did some copywriting for me for, for one of my sales and he wanted X amount of dollars to do the work and I said, well, let's, let's put an incentive here. Let's make it X amount of dollars and I agree to what he said plus I'll give you 10% of what we make above that amount from the sale. And that, you know, that encourages them to do a better job. So I think, you, you know, a lot of times, you know, for example, I would never have a, a, a carpenter come over to my house to do some work <laughs> and, uh, you know, and to, to build something for me and then ne uh, negotiate them down to half of their rate. They're going to do such a crappy job and they're going to overbill you on hours. They're going to make up the time, you know, an hour. They're going to do a crappy job and they're going to way bill, overbill the hours. That is, it's not going to be worth it. So the second topic now uh, about about the dress, I totally agree about this. A lot of people don't like this, but the fact is that we, you know, however you believe that we've come to have these attributes, we we use stereotypes, right? And we we use first impressions. And while well, you know, a lot of people say, oh, th this is not good. We shouldn't use stereotypes. That's bull. We're, we're all prejudiced. We're all racist to some degree, right? We all have these. These things and we are going to make snap judgment because it's biologically built into us. And so while I agree that we shouldn't perpetuate these things, that, that just because someone's dressed a certain way or talks a certain way or looks a certain way, that doesn't necessarily mean that what you think your first impression of them is true. You have to realize that people still form these impressions and you have to work around them, right? You can say, oh, it's not fair. People shouldn't judge me. I should be able to have a tattooed face and that should be fine. And they should just regard me as someone else who, who dresses in a suit and, and tie. But that's not reality. That's not, not real. You know, you can, you can be angry about that and I can even agree with you. But the fact is you got to play to people's perceptions and that's why you would dress a certain way, right? It's, it's not being not true to yourself. It's, it's being smart. It's, it's realizing that 
people judge you on a first impression, that people's perceptions of you. You know, if you want to go up, if you, a lot of times I tell young developers, if you want to go up to management, if you want to be like on the executive team someday, start dressing like the, look at the board, look at the executives and start dressing like them. You're going to get grouped into that just because you look that way. Fair or not, it, that, this is reality. We operate in a real world. So you got you to gotta conform to reality. So anyway, I, I totally agree with you. I don't think it's selling out. Some people will say, oh, you should just be yourself. Well, that's, that's, that's not, not true in business, right? You, you, can, you, can, you can choose to be yourself, but you'll pay, you'll pay the penalty for it. And just because you dress a certain way, you know, uh, it, it's called being courteous to the other person, right? It, it's, it's, uh, if you're a man, it's being a gentleman. If you're a woman, it's being a lady. It is, it is choosing to make the other person feel comfortable. It, it doesn't mean that you're selling yourself out. It doesn't mean you're not being yourself, but it's a smart thing to do and, and I totally agree with it. So uh, good good on you, Kareen. Thanks for, for both both of the, the questions or, or comments here in the email. I think these are both really good topics to talk about. Anyway, uh, hope uh, hopefully you had a good 4th of July. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's not the next 4th of July yet, right? So, hey, I'm only six months late in answering this. But uh, anyway, uh, if, you, if you like this video, if you like this podcast, subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it. Take care.